So the patterns of the wavefronts after reflections, uh, that is for the plane wave, uh, plane wave. Uh. So reflections of wavers obeys the laws of reflection. That is the angles of incident is what is equal uh, is equal to the equal to the angles of reflections and the incident wave, the reflected wave and the normal lies on the same plane. Uh lie on the same plane okay actually we discussed this one just now right and for reflections of circular wave the distance of the image from the reflector is equal to the distance of the source so i will discuss this in next slide eh? i'll give you the answer first so that is for the uh, reflections of a plane wave eh? reflections of plane wave a uh, circular wave okay so this is the circular wave eh? okay so this is the source uh, of, the, of the wave and the source of the wave usually we call it the object and uh, after the wave wave is produced so the wave moves to the reflector and then hit the reflector and then it's reflected back reflected back okay now this dashed line actually is the Im imaginary lines eh? okay it doesn't it doesn't exist there okay but uh, we just draw this as a reference eh? and uh, we found that if we draw these lines okay um, these lines form a circle okay this is a reflected wave huh? and if we, we we draw it it form a circle and as all this circle it has the same center which is here it hit the reflector and then reflected back as the, a circular wave huh? okay as a circular wave and um, the wave uh, looks like it's coming from a same the same center which is here so this is the wave front diagrams that you need to know uh, for the reflections of circular wave usually this come up in uh, objective questions okay in objective questions so we call this point uh, okay this point as the image uh, so this is object and this is the image after the reflections uh, the wave length remain the same the wave front is still the same the distance of the source uh, from the reflector is called the distance of the object and the distance of the image from the reflector is called the distance of the image and the distance of the object must be equal to the distance of the image these two distance must be the same must be the same because in exam sometimes they would draw this uh, further or nearer just just to confuse you so make sure that the distance of the image from the reflector is the same so distance of object equals to the distance of the image and this is very important for a plane wave and a circular wave some book they may give you reflections uh, of a curve curve reflector okay the reflector and then there's a uh, straight lines okay this is a wave front the wave fronts hit on the curve reflector and what will happen now that one is no more in the syllabus okay no more in the syllabus eh? so if you some books some reference books still have it uh, if you see that then you can skip that eh? okay so what you need to know is the reflections of plane wave and circular wave by a flat reflector only a flat reflector curved reflector is no more in the syllabus eh?